Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and today we are going to be drawing Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Like everybody else, I was very surprised with how good Guardians of the Galaxy was. It was one of the best movies that came out that year and it is one of the best MCU movies in my opinion to date. When I was younger, I used to read the Guardians of the Galaxy and I had the entire Korvac quest. Uh, I'll put a link to those comics in the description below. But I had the entire run of that storyline and I thought it was great back when Charlie 27 Vance Astro, Martin X, Yondu, when those guys were the Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyway, going back to Baby Groot, I think everybody is in love with Baby Groot and I cannot wait to see what Baby Groot's antics are going to be for the sequel Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It's kind of funny now because in the first movie, Rocket was the one that is on Groot's shoulders, but in the trailer for this movie, you see the opposite where it's Baby Groot on Rocket's shoulders. So it's going to be a pretty interesting dynamic. I cannot wait for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This tutorial is going to be a little bit different because I am going to show you guys how I do a little bit of the inking, so that's going to be in a separate video for you guys to watch. But as usual, what you guys need is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black pen so you can ink afterwards. As you're watching, remember that you can pause the video at any time so you guys can catch up on your drawings. Remember that we all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And if your baby Groot looks a little different than my baby Groot, that is completely acceptable. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get to the tutorial. All right, you guys, let's get started with Baby Groot. And as you guys can see, I've got my paper in portrait mode. He's gonna be standing up in his little pot planter, which we're going to put right here. So let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to do is do an outline of how I want Baby Groot to be. And I'm gonna start by drawing where his head is. And his head, I'm gonna put it right here. And a good thing about this is It can be uh, any shape. Like Groot is one of those characters where you can't really go wrong with the way that his uh, body shape is. So what I did was I did a half circle down here and then I kind of just drew lines that leaned towards the left, the top left, and then I drew a rounded edge at the top, uh, a rounded curve at the top. And I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw where his body is gonna go. So from here, I'm just gonna draw a shape like this. So it's like a very, very faint S shape. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And as I go down, I kind of generally want to make this wide and gets narrow here and then wider as you go down. Okay. All right, now that we've got the bottom, I'm going to kind of draw where the pot is going to be. So I draw this and then I draw a curve like this for the pot. We're gonna worry about that later on, but try to make it so that Groot sort of centered in the middle of the pot. So imagine a center line going down over here. We're gonna draw Groot right kind of in the middle of that. And then, yeah, so this curve right here, this, this, this side should equal this side as much as you can. And it should have about the right kind of curve as well. All right, now let's uh, kind of get an idea where we want the arms to go. And this one, like, it doesn't even matter how you want the arms to go. And I want my arms to go like this. So I just drew a series of non-straight lines to indicate where I want my arms to go. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna go back here, kind of focus on Groot's head a little bit more. I wanna make it a little bit bigger than this. I'll do that. Let's find the eraser. Erase some of the guidelines here. And there you go. We can get started on doing the details on Groot himself. So what I want to do is I want Groot to be looking to the kind of up and right. So I'm going to put the center of the head going down like this. On this side, well, let's draw the eye line first. That's the eye line. On this side, I want to draw an oval with a line going through like this. And 
underneath it, we'll draw a little tail, kind of like the letter Q tail, right there. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're going to draw a circle. And then we're going to draw the eyebrow line, like that. And then what I want to do now is I want to, I want to create like a, an eye socket. So I'll draw a line like that underneath, and then a line above, kind of curving above. So it sort of makes a, an eye shape around that eye. Okay, I'm gonna draw some wrinkles over here. But for Groot, those aren't going to be wrinkles. Those are gonna be more like um, tree lines, I guess you could call it. Him being a tree and all. Now inside, I'm going to draw a circle at the top right of each eye. And then I'm going to shade in the rest of the eye. Okay. Actually, over here, I'm going to create like a like a point right there. All right. So we've got that. Now we're going to draw Groot's smile, and it's going to start over here, underneath, kind of underneath this eye, right here. We're gonna draw a line going across like this. All right, a line on that side, an angled line, and over here, a line like this. And then we're gonna bring a line going down like this, and here as well, and we're gonna make that meet, and that's the smile. I'm gonna draw this line like this because that's going to create like a lip. And you kind of want teeth, so I draw a line inside the mouth. I'm not going to draw each individual tooth, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in the rest of the mouth like that. So that's kind of Groot's face. Let's draw the cheek. So right here, I'm going to draw a line going down until you reach the center, the center line, the one that crosses the eye there, and then I go out like this, and that sort of makes the the, the cheek. And I'm going to go back down. I make a chin back this way and I'm gonna leave it like that for now I'm gonna go back over here to the side of this eye I'm gonna draw a line that looks like it's the temple and then curve in like this to the to the right and then I go back out like this now here's the tricky part all of this is going to be like imagine a tree root kind of just spreading out so that's going to be a little bit tricky to to explain so a lot of it is going to be instinctive so I'll tell you the basic principles and I'll let you guys figure out how it goes by yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here. I'm going to draw a curve going out like this. And I'm gonna stop right there because I'm going to go back over here. Right here. And then I'm gonna draw a non-straight curve going out like that. And then I keep doing the same thing. Let's go back over here, draw a non-straight curve, and then go back over here non-straight curve. And you guys notice that I, I'm leaning towards the left here. And I'm not going to connect them yet. I'll figure that out later on. Go back over here. I'll do a line like this. And the trick is to not make it uniform. So you don't want each curve to start looking the same. And then for some of them, you kind of want two branches to stick out. And then you want them to overlap each other as well. There you go. I'm gonna shade in the eye part. I 
and that's how it's done. It's pretty simple, I'd say. All right, so we take that and we do the exact same principle for the uh, body. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to first find some major lines, the biggest lines first. So I'm going to have part of it kind of go around like this. And that's kind of the general shape that I want is everything twisting this way. So everything's twisting around this way. So now everything is going to go revolve around these curves right here. So I'll do another one down here. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to bring it down like this. All right. All right. Now I've got those two shapes. Now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw just lines sort of following that same uh, turn that's happening. And this is kind of random. I'm just a choosing where to start and where to end. And I'm gonna just do it like that. Now over here, I'll start with the arm, goes down, and I kind of want it to go down over here and then back up like that. And then I want there to have like a branch over here. But as you get to the shoulder, I kind of want a branch sticking out like a little twig or something. So you can just draw a twig like that. Now I'm going to continue with the rest of the arm here. And then right here, I'm going to go on this side as well. So it's kind of like roots, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to really teach you how to do it. You kind of have to instinctively just take your pencil and do what you feel. Right now over here, I'll show you how to do the thumb. And the thumb kind of goes like this, and it just makes a curve like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back over here, I'll draw kind of the rest of the hand. And I'm just going to draw two little curves or two little bumps like that. So that's kind of how you do it. Now I'll go back on this side. I'll start down here and then go down to the elbow part. And then I'll go back here and I'll go across like that. And then I'll start over here this time, the forearm, and then I make my way back up like this. And then from here, I go down like that. Draw a line in the middle here. And over here, I'll show you guys how to draw this hand. Uh, I have these three lines coming this way. So what I wanna do is I wanna take the middle line and I sort of wanna draw a curve like this and then a thumb like that. And then I'll draw the rest of the hand, two bumps again, make that one bigger, and then just draw it like that, okay? Now I'm gonna go back here and just finish this off. You guys may notice I'm doing this kind of slowly and I'm really just thinking about where I want the lines to go. Now, I'll go back over here, kind of forgot to do this. Just gonna draw two lines like that. And then right around the elbow part, I'm gonna have a twig, a little plant going, growing out. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna add some more curves to this and we should be good. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little uh, shading technique to draw 
textures, but I'm not going to do it on Groot. I'll show you guys in a little bit. I'll do it on a separate piece of paper so you guys understand what I mean. But for now, let's finish Groot and let's go to this, this pot. So we have this curve and what you want to do is you want to match this curve on the other side. Like that. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way so that it makes it easier for me to make sure that that curve is the right shape I want. Uh, before I before I draw the lines out here, what I want to do is actually create a second curve above. Okay, and then I take that and then I draw from this point, I draw lines going down for the pot. And the pot, you guys notice it kind of, I want it to go in this way. And you add a little bit more of a, an angle to that. And you want to try to make it the same on both sides. And then the bottom part of it is just a regular pot. There you go. Just going to fix some stuff up here. Just finding, finding areas that I would like to add more details to. Um, actually, let's do this. Uh, there's there's a couple of uh, like what do you call it vines that go up root starting from the bottom, and they sort of wrap themselves around these certain uh, certain parts of Groot's body, and they kind of wrap themselves around like this. And I'm just, I'm just going to draw a few of them and that's just to give, to give each um, little curve right here a different look so that they don't all look the same. I think that's it. I won't do too much of it. Okay. So about that uh, process that I was talking about, I'm going to take out a new sheet of paper and I want you guys to just pay attention to how I do this. So for a tree, a tree has these grooves. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to take those grooves. And if you want to draw some details on the tree and to make the tree look more uh, 3D, you take those grooves and you kind of draw curves how you want the, the 3D to look. So this one, I want it to have this little curve like this, and then this one to have another curve and another curve like that. So what I'm doing now is I'm drawing just random curves on the edges and in the center that indicate what that tree kind of looks like. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing over here. So just random lines sticking out. Some of them are tall and some of them are not. And some of them are in the center. Okay. And as you guys can see, if I keep doing that, I start to build this trunk. Okay. So, these curves kind of give you a general shape. And the bigger it is, especially like, for example, in this area right here, I kind of want to make my lines a little longer. Just like that. And then to give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more of that uh, tree like effect. I'm going to draw some lines going through like this. But just not too much. Uh, they, they run the opposite direction or, you know, these ones kind of go up and down. These ones go left and right. So they run along the tree, whereas these lines right here, they go against the tree. Okay, so if you keep doing that, you guys notice that it sort of starts to give this like tree-like effect. Just a couple of lines that go opposite of each other. So there's lines that go up and down. Um, there's lines that go across, I mean, the lines that go across, they, they give the shape of the tree that you want. And then, and then lines that go along the tree and that just sort of gives it that, uh, that rough trunk look. And of course, to make it a little bit, uh, more like a tree, you don't want the trunk to be straight edges. You want them to be rough. So when I start inking in Groot, 
I'll make sure that my lines are, you know, wavy like this and not so straight. So that's kind of the um, shading effect that I want you guys to try to do on Groot. So let's go back to my Groot drawing here. And I won't do too much with my pencil, but what I want you guys to do, not so much on the face, but I, wanted, uh, I want you guys to try to do it on Groot's body, is a series of those little lines going, up, going across like that. And then just some, a few straight lines going the opposite way. Okay, so you guys can see it sort of adds that effect where it kind of looks like a tree branch. And you guys can do the same thing actually if you want to draw a worm. You can do the exact same effect. And don't be uniform with this. Be very random. So do your best to just try to figure out where you think they should go. Like that. Okay, so um, I'll be doing this with my inks instead of pencils. If you guys uh, are confident enough, you can do the same thing. But if you guys want practice, uh, I suggest you guys practice on a separate piece of paper first and then try it on Groot himself. But for the most part, we are finished with our baby Groot drawing. So now it's just a matter of inking it in such a way so that it looks like a tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Groot tutorial and I hope you guys succeed in your um, inking of baby Groot. And that's all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please stay tuned all the way to the end so you guys can click on the annotations that I have around me on this screen. I hope your drawings of Baby Groot turned out great. And like I said, please check out the inking time lapse that I have for this tutorial where I show you guys the inking effect that I use to make Groot look like a tree. Please head over to the Google Plus community page and post your Baby Groot drawings there. I would love to see it, you guys. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my tutorials or to do my drawings, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making this kind of stuff for you guys free of charge. Question of the day, who is your favorite Guardians of the Galaxy member from the MCU film? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I would say that Drax and Groot are my favorites. I'd probably lean more towards Drax because I just, the guy cracks me up with his sense of humor, even though he doesn't have one. If you guys are new to this channel, I would love to have you guys subscribe here. I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. If you guys do like what you see, please hit the uh, subscribe button that is just below this video. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked it, commented below, or shared this with your friends in social media. Don't forget, you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download the free coloring page of Baby Groot. Again, you guys, all of these links are down below. Finally, thank you once again for watching, and as always, Stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.